lots and lots of pressure. Hopefully I will tame him. Look at that guy. <laughs> Fantastic fish. Right guys, in today's session I will show you how to catch bubble on the float. As you can see, I positioned myself in a very good spot. I am into the water and I'm able to feed actually by hand and I'm feeding four mil pellets. I'm feeding, as you can see, I hope you can see, I'm feeding on the edge where the fastest flow meets, albeit slower flow and there will be quite deep water as well. So I will keep on feeding now for a while. I was feeding actually before I turned my camera on already, probably for 10-15 minutes. So I hope once I will run through, the bubble will be waiting already. Not a lot of fish I'm expecting, two, three, four, five bites maybe. But if I will hook one, it will be quality fish, very likely double figure bubble as well. As you can see, my setup is quite simple. I have a bank stick and I attach to that bank stick on hooking mat, which is floating. And I have my landing net just on that floating on hooking mat so everything is nice and simple obviously i will go through the tackle i'm using a bit later but everything is strong and reliable and i should be able to land those bubble no problem okay let's start plumbing up oh by the way today i will be using prawns meshed prawns on the hook as well just to make sure no small fish will be interested you know into my bait also prawn is big and visible don't forget that i need to put some bait in constantly just to make sure that i i will get them competing soon They will start feeding soon, I'm sure of it. Just had very, very aggressive little pluck. That was a job, I'm certain. is great some fish are responding already and that's it guys i am into a bubble nice boy just block feels like a decent fish as well guys holding the bottom can't do anything about it just look at that rod Fish is basically staying in one place. Just hope it won't snag me. That's a good fish, guys. Let's put some feed in just to make sure that... Ooh. Even though I have strong uh, tackle, still it will be probably, I don't know, at least five minutes to get it out. 
it's a decent flow and still it's not, you know, it's not a carp tackle. I have to take my time. Fish is staying nicely in the flow, using its energy. Oh, just saw my float. Not sure whether you can see my float on camera. I'll make sure that my drag is nice and, you know, tight, but not too tight, so the fish would not break it. Fish is actually quite close here already, going against the flow. If the bubble would always go downstream, you would not land any, any of them, I guess. We have to start stopping that fish. Wow, he's powerful. He's going still against the flow. Cannot believe, just look, that fish is fighting me and fighting the flow as well, and still taking line against the flow. Let's not forget to feed them. That's my olivet. So it means that the fish is about a meter under the water. Don't quite like where that fish is, like it's too close to me. My rod is too long for that. I will have to walk back a little bit. Here it is. Looked like a decent fish, like at least six pounds from what I saw. Maybe a little bit more. Ha oh. ha! We'll get my net in position. Let's feed them. Fish is quite close. Maybe a little bit bigger fish than I was thinking. Are you ready, Mr. Bubble? Dive in that net. Yes, got him. So as you can see, guys, strong and reliable tackle. And it was not even five minutes for me to get that fish out. Beautiful. Yes! So now I will use my unhooking mat just to unhook the fish and with the and will put my rod on the mat as well. Oh I have to not forget to put some feed in. Hook nicely, still have my prawn. I'll try to show you that fish guys. Here it is. Oh, quite slim fish. Decent shape though. <laughs> yes! That's it, yes! Right, when it comes to the bait, it could not be any simpler. I have a pouch, corda one, and in that pouch I have everything what I'm feeding. So, those are four mil pellets, just simple copper pellets at four mils. I have odd two miller mixed in, but it's not on purpose. It just happens that I have them mixed up. But anyway, I'm feeding four mil pellets. And then what I'm putting on the hook is actually prawns. And not sure whether you can see or not, but I meshed those prawns. Those prawns are in a armor mesh, so very, very durable hook bait. As you saw, I was chucking one hook bait 50 times at least, and 
after I landed that first fish, the hook bait still was on. What was that? That I was almost certain that it was a, you know, a chub. Because when I struck, it went downstream actually, I was certain that it's a chub, but no, that's probably a bubble, I guess, guys. It should be a bubble. Just look at that rod. Fish is almost not doing anything, just swimming. That was a little bit messy strike. It was like proper under, I struck and yeah, you know what guys, I feel that this one will be bigger fish though. Feels like much bigger fish just stays, you know, in one place almost. Now, just little lunges, nothing else. Hope I will see that fish. Really not doing anything at the moment. That's a good fish, guys. I think it will be a double figure one. Really doing nothing, just staying in one place. Which is great, you know, with a bubble, as I said. If they would go downstream, like after you hook them, you would not stop them. Yeah, this this guys will be very good fish. I can I can feel, can feel it. It's like staying in one place. We'll keep it away from the other bank a little bit. Will not forget to you know to put some feed in. That one fish behind me is still jumping out like mad. We'll pull it away from the other bank a little bit just to keep it in the fastest flow. Yeah, it will take some time, guys, to get this fish out. It's a good fish, definitely. I can feel that it's a double-figure bubble, or at least it, it looks like. Here was my float. Not sure whether you saw my float for a sec. We'll keep on feeding. Hopefully, if I will land this one, then here is my float. Fish is staying nicely right in the middle. Obviously the fish feel safest there, but for me it's a bonus as well. Kind of believe that there won't be any snags and the fish has to fight, you know, me and the flow as well. Just look, that fish is staying right in the middle of the flow and don't care really. <laughs> that my drag is nice and you know tight but not too tight when the fish will run obviously the bubble will definitely run a couple of times but once it will run it would not break me you know that's a definitely a double figure bubble but I'm, I'm certain of that guys that it will be a double figure, figure bubble probably one of them 12 pounders Wow, he's actually sprinting against the floor. And one fish just jumped here, that small one. He's running. He's 
sweet, sweet bend in that rod. There it is, the fish is relatively close to me, almost too close, I will have to walk back a little bit. I will get my net ready, just if, if it would give me a chance, I will try to scoop it, you know. No, actually not that big fish, I think. Likely it won't even be a double, guys. Not sure. Make sure that I won't lose my net. Wow. <laughs> that fish is strong. Wow, he's strong. Are you ready? <laughs> As always. Wow, this one is like a sprinter. have to help with my overhand because <laughs> that one is messed up. <laughs> That's it Mr. Bubble, give up. coming <laughs> as I am that low in the river I can't get a better angle actually <laughs> my my hand is messed up guys really messed up my hand is <laughs> uh, that fish actually managed to to twist the line around itself. I really don't want that. Come on, go off. And it came off at the end. How unlucky. That wasn't, wasn't successful for me. When it comes to the tackle, everything is simple, basic, but very, very strong. The rod right, that's a diver specialist power mesh at 15 feet. Then I have a reel, which is Diva Acceler at 4000 size. I have a high gear ratio here, 6.2 to 1. And on the reel, I have 0 0.15 braided line. Again, very strong and reliable line. Then when it comes to the float, hope you can see it. So Dave Harrell, Avon float at 6 grams, strong and it has very big top, so I'll be able to drag my bait on the bottom quite well. Then going down, I have attached that braid to a swivel. And right here also I have an olivet, 6 gram olivet, which is locked with a couple of number 8s. Also, as you saw, that braid I was using on the reel it's quite bright, but here it's not bright actually. I painted the braid, uh, that section of the braid between the olivet and the float with black marker. And below I have size 12 swivel, I believe, which I attach to the braid on one end. And on the other end I have 0 0.30 fluorocarbon. Then I have big shot here. That's a number four shot here and probably 20 centimeters from that shot I have loop to loop and I have 20 centimeter hook link made out of 0 0.20 fluorocarbon size 6 
Camasan B983 hook as well and a prawn on that hook. So as you can see, very strong and reliable tackle. Right, actually after I lost that fish, I had to, to retie my rig. Okay, let's see if we can nail another bubble. I still was feeding whilst, you know, whilst was buying my rig. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that I will get a bite soonish. New bait goes on. Get a bite. Yes, some is settling now. How about that? <laughs> is it not sure yet? But that was a good one. Yeah, that's another bubble. <laughs> uh, First caster and bang. We'll keep that fish away from the other bank. Came off again, cannot believe. Lost two fish in a row. Just came off this one. Got one. Nice bite as well. Fish is staying in one place. Moving towards me. Moving downstream. Definitely a bubble. Definitely not a chub. Please don't go into the snags, Mr. Bubble. Want to see you. Fish is still on, nicely holding in the flow. Not doing much really. Now it's going against the flow. Those mosquitoes attacking me as well. Feels like a decent fish, guys. All sorts of action is happening behind me as well. <laughs> that fish almost suspiciously staying in one place. I just hope it's not snagged or something. Now it's taking some line. Come on, Mr. Bubble, just move somewhere. Very, very suspicious I am about this one. It's kind of... It's almost... Almost stayed in the same area where I hooked it. I know it's actually moving, but very, very slow against the floor. As you can see, feeding just like that above my head, just to make sure I'm not interacting with the rod in any way. Yeah, that fish is... was about to say it was going towards me, maybe it is, but stopped again. That one behind me just going mad. I'm almost certain it will be one or two fish, small ones, which are jumping out like mad. I'm still not convinced that this fish 
is like you know free of any line or anything i mean any other lines or no actually i just saw the float so maybe it's all good maybe it's all good guys please be kind to me mr bubble i will definitely use both of my hands because just quite difficult you know to hold long 15 feet rod all day well not all day for a couple hours and then fight those angry bubble as well here is my float Is it a good fish? Not sure, guys. Definitely the slowest bubble for today. Make sure that I keep the right angle between the line and the rod here is my float properly out is it a good fish or what not sure guys definitely it's you know more than five pounds i'm certain just a question whether it's a double or not not sure it's going against the flow again Wow, they are strong guys, those bubble. <laughs> Cannot believe how strong they are. What's that fish is doing? my net close to me hopefully I will have a chance of scooping it yeah to not forget to feed you know here's my olivet now it's very important to make sure that they will not break me when they will run as always they, they do run this fish definitely staying deeper than the others just applying lots and lots of pressure and hopefully you know victory will be mine Almost saw the fish. The fish is running into the flow again. Go out of the flow. Wow, they are strong guys, those fish. And on the flow tackle, even though I have like a strong specialist type rod, still. takes time to get them out you know wow wow i'm not sure whether you can see all the rod but i'm applying lots and lots of pressure to that fish and still it's kind of just staying in one place now <laughs> in the flow. Cannot believe how strong that fish is. Oh. 
A real horse. See that fish? Is that it? No. I think it might might just be a double figure one, guys. Looked like a decent fish, actually. We'll keep on that pressure. Lots and lots of pressure. Again, I'm not sure if you can see that rod, but then almost doubled up <laughs> here it is that fish please give up mr bubble don't go into the weeds no 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 don't go into the weeds no yeah go out of the weeds Can you see that? That fish just went downstream again. Cannot believe. Such a strong fish they are. Still feeding. I, I kind of hope that still I will celebrate a victory in a couple minutes and then I will have a chance just for another one. It would be nice to, to get another one before going home. Wow, he's not giving up, guys. He's not giving up. Wow. Proper wild horse that fish is. That was lots and lots of pressure. Hopefully I will tame him. Yes, let's have a look at you. Uh, probably not even a double figure bubble, but or maybe it is. Maybe just about 10 pounds. I will give it the 10 pounds, guys. Don't need to know whether it's exactly 10 or more or less. Don't care. Just very good fish. Oh yeah, he's ready to go. Just look at that, guys. <laughs> Fantastic fish. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> went right back maybe it's too late guys yeah I think I will call it so yeah guys thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed this short video I definitely enjoyed fishing and see you in the next one